Henry, and guess what? We just landed in Orlando and we just checked into our hotel. We looked at the weather and so far for the six days that are going to be here, I think, six days actually. Is it six days, Rod? Six days. <laughs> um, it turns out it's going to rain. So we're going to make the best of it. This is just the beginning of our trip and get ready for a lot of footage when we're at Disney, specifically Galaxy's Edge. I cannot. And we're here at Disneyland! Yeah. Woo! All right. We're walking into Star Wars Land. Yes. I like how everything around this amusement park to begin with is pretty much Star Wars themed, obviously. From, I don't know what that is, whether that's some kind of network pole or electricity pole. Like, just like how it's designed, it looks obviously like I'm in a whole different place. But uh, can't wait to explore the rest of it, so let's keep going. This is, but how cool is this? And here is the Millennium Falcon, everyone. Yes, check this out. All right, here it is, everyone. Check it out. It is massive. Check that out. I don't know how they made this, but it's huge. Now today it's actually supposed to rain with thunderstorm, so there's not a lot of people here at the park. As you can see, a lot of deserted space, but we're quite lucky. So I'm hoping that when it starts raining, this will clear out and we'll be able to take much more pictures and stuff like that. But oh, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Look how big that is. Whoa. Droid section. Oh. So Ronnie wanted a pop and take a look what's inside, little grenade style pops. How cute is that? So right now we're in the droid depot and I'm going to show you around. So let's see what they have. So they have some nice droids over here and of course they have down below what I'm thinking of getting up for myself here. Ooh, that's some badges. Okay, cool. Like what else they got over here? What's this? Droid depot. Battle droid. Are they like statues or something? Oh, here they are. Oh, that's the statues. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, the little really display neat. pieces. Look at that. That's cool. Very, very cool. And of course, some more shirts over there. Some keychains. Very cool. And some more of the statues down there. All right, so Ronnie found something that he really liked here. Let's go ahead and see what Ronnie wants me to buy him. Ronnie Warren, what is it that you want me to get you? Uh, the best popcorn bowl on the planet. Oh, the planet well, what is it? How much is it? What does it look R2 like? R2 D2 head, yeah. And it retails for 7499 CAD or USD rather. Uh huh. And what's it for? Like a popcorn bowl or something? For anything. It's actually really well made. It's, it's super thick. It's like probably a stainless steel of sorts. And uh, yeah, you can use it for whatever you want. Okay, um, perfect. It could be a salad bowl, it could be a food bowl, <laughs> it could be a popcorn bowl, uh, whatever you want. It oh. could be a cereal bowl for when I'm really hungry. A cereal bowl. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, multi purpose. Okay, well, Ronnie, guess what? I'm going to pick that up for you today. Awesome, thanks, babe. No problem. Okay, and here we have all the droids for sale. So we got some CP3 open here. 
I don't recognize this character over here on the left, but very, very cool. So part of the droid workshop is that you're able to customize the droid by adding different personalities, for example. So all these here are personality chips. So over here, you'll see Astromech personality chip. Here's a different version of one right over here. Here's a different colored version of one up here. So I'm not really sure what it unlocks, but let's take a look. So it unlocks certain sounds and personalities, but doesn't really say what kind of personality it is. So that's a pretty cool customizable feature you can add to your droid. Very cool. It's raining like crazy outside. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not looking nice. So we're kind of trying to stay within a shop and uh, wait till the weather gets better. We still have the Rise of the Resistance. We also still have Always Contain later at 9.50. Um, so we're just gonna go around to the shops and do some shopping maybe, get some snacks and uh, go from there. So let's get some food, right Rodney? Yeah, some starving. Let's go. All right, so we just got into Oga's Cantina and it is amazing. Now, we were supposed to come here at 9.50 in the nighttime, but unfortunately, it's raining and it's been a long day. So we're probably gonna have a drink or two here and then we're gonna go, but let me show you what it looks like in here. Here we go. here at Sabi's workshop and we're just waiting for a name to be called before we go in so there's pretty much a lineup of people just right over there and the girl on the far left there with the camo is gonna go ahead and call us when she's when we're ready so we have just about under six minutes and Rod's gonna help film this experience so thank you Rod so what's going on we're inside this workshop. It's about to start, so I can't wait. But we're allowed to film in here, so just watch the whole experience. Okay, so we've lived this galaxy looking back at you. Don't worry, you get to meet them for yourself later. And in the meantime, you may call me Kimbe. It is elegant and enigmatic. And to build a lightsaber, it's an art. The lightsaber is a reflection of the builder, and the force connects them. Each and every one of you get to experience that connection for yourself today. So why am I wasting your time just talking about it? Shall we begin? Yes. 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 Five of you are ready? Works for me. <laughs> we begin with the Kyber Crystal. And the Kyber Crystal is very rare because it can actually focus the energy of the Force. It's able to magnify it. Now some call the Kyber Crystal the heart of the lightsaber because the color of the crystal determines the color of the blade. You've probably heard of some of these crystals in the greatest Jedi legends in history. Like the blue crystal. 
This one is wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker. Now it is wielded by Ren. The Green Crystal, Kwai Ban Jin, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The Violet Crystal. This one is very rare and very beautiful. It's just like the one wielded by Master Mace Windu. And red. Some call this the color of power. It is wielded by Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, possibly my friend over here because I heard him say yes. You know what? You're right. The, the crystals call strongly to you, so let's choose your Kyber crystal. But what you didn't know you need, what I knew you need, is the gatherer standing right in front of you. They will lead the journey, so make sure you listen to them. Now before I turn the room over to them, I have one last question that I think you can answer. Are you ready? Yes! yes. Then let's build. I'm very happy with that. Awesome. Now when you get the tells you, it's going to be up for on, down for on. Okay. what the rise of the resistance ride is down and unfortunately we're not gonna be able to ride it they said that it could be up in the next 30 who knows but it's raining it's cold out we've been here for quite a bit of time so I think what we may just do is maybe come back on Monday since we have a uh, 
Hopper Pass. That's it for today. So you know what? Thank you so much for stopping by. Ronnie, say bye to the camera. Bye bye guys. And for all of you, again, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below. And for all of you, thanks so much. We will see you next week on the channel. Until then, see you later.